Everything Top 10 is proud to present the Top 10 Things You Didn't Know About Pascal Siakam. Number 10. The Siakam Family Pascal Siakam was born in Douala, Cameroon in 1994 to his parents Tachamo and Victory Siakam. Pascal has three older brothers and two sisters. His father, Tachamo Siakam, was a family man who worked hard to give his children opportunities in life. Tachamo worked for a transit company and was the mayor of the Cameroonian town of Makinene. Pascal's father loved the sport of basketball and got his boys into sports very young in each of their lives. Number 9. Pascal the Priest? It has not always been Pascal's dream to play in the NBA. From a young age, Pascal Siakam had desired to become a priest. When Pascal was 11 years old, his dad enrolled him into St. Andrew's Seminary, a Catholic academy. Pascal attended the school for four years, but his interest in priesthood soon withered. At age 15, Pascal had grown exceptionally tall and chose to spend his time and energy on sports from there on out. Number 8. Basketball was his second sport. Basketball and Pascal did not have a love-at-first-sight relationship. Pascal's first love was for the sport of soccer. Pascal's idol was Cameroon international and Barcelona striker Samuel Ito, and he was known to have a ball at his feet in his youth. His three older brothers were all very gifted basketball players, with all three given scholarship opportunities to play basketball in the United States. This initially pushed Pascal to choose soccer, as he thought it would be unoriginal if he followed the same path as his brothers. Number 7. Late Bloomer in Cameroon While he was exposed to basketball at a young age, Pascal first started playing the sport when he was 15. Pascal began catching the attention of those looking for talent in 2011 when he attended a local basketball camp two miles from his hometown. The camp was ran by former NBA veteran and fellow Cameroonian Luc Mba Amute, who played for six different NBA teams in his 12-year career. While Pascal had no basketball ability yet, his athletic ability and physical attributes set him apart from other campgoers. Word of his raw potential soon spread, earning Pascal a trip to a more elite camp called Basketball Without Borders in South Africa. Number 6. Trip to the States After impressing scouts in multiple camps in Africa, Pascal would earn a shot at playing prep ball in the United States. At age 16, he would move to Louisville, Texas to attend God's Academy, a prep school that is known for its basketball program. Pascal experienced quite a culture shock when first arriving in the United States. He had more freedom than he had ever experienced before, as he was used to growing up in the Catholic Academy back home. Pascal also faced the most legitimate basketball competition of his early career in the United States, which turned him into a much improved player. Number 5. Pascal's College Years Pascal developed into a player with a huge upside in his time at God's Academy, leading New Mexico State University to heavily recruit the forward. A slender, tall Siakam would be redshirted for his freshman year at New Mexico State, which gave him time to better prepare himself for college basketball. During this year, Pascal received significant attention from the New Mexico State University staff. With extra focus put on his diet, weightlifting, and basketball development, Pascal took huge strides in becoming a player that is capable of making an impact at the college level. Sadly, Pascal's father would pass away in a car accident in the fall of his first season. This tragic event is one of the biggest influences on Pascal's basketball career. Speaking on his father's death, Pascal said, From that day on, my purpose in the game, the way I play the game, changed forever. Number 4. Pascal's Rookie Season Two seasons in college was enough for Pascal to develop into a legitimate NBA prospect. He was taken in the 2016 NBA draft by the Toronto Raptors with the 27th overall pick. Pascal's NBA debut was also the first NBA game that Siakam had ever seen. During his first season, Pascal spent significant time with the Raptors' D-League team, Raptors 905. He led Raptors 905 to a D-League championship and was named D-League Finals MVP after averaging 23 points and 9 rebounds in the finals. Number 3. Pascal's French Influence Pascal has a heavy French influence in his life, all of which originated from his home country of Cameroon. Pascal still loves French music and he is known to communicate in French on the court when applicable. Pascal and Raptors teammate Serge Ibaka prefer to speak French in order to communicate without opponents' understanding. Number 2. Pascal's Favorite Foods Pascal's favorite restaurant is located in Toronto and called School. Siakam loves the brunch options at the restaurant, 
but the waiters already know his order. Pascal always gets the chicken and waffles with an order of super cheesy bacon French toast. Number 1. Siakam's Plans to Give Back Pascal's goal is to have his family financially set. He has already retired his mother from her job of running a retail store in Cameroon and has plans to move her out to the United States one day. Siakam also has big plans to give back to his homeland of Cameroon and is reportedly interested in creating and hosting basketball camps similar to the one that he was discovered in. That's all, folks. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and comment down below which NBA player you want to see us make a video about next. Make sure you subscribe to us as well. Also, tell us if you think Pascal Siakam will win the 2019 Most Improved Player Award. See you next time!